Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today is February 12th and we're going to finish up the four part video tutorial on how to create a cool uh, gamer user interface design and also animate it in After Effects. So that's what we're going to focus on today is animating it in After Effects. So uh, as always, check out designcourse.com and if you haven't yet, subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's begin here. Um, this is where we left off. I didn't even save my project, so yeah, you might want to do that. There's my project folder down here. And call this, you know, whatever you want to call it. And okay, so now what we need to do is get started with uh, all these layers and start animating them in some shape, some way, shape, or form. So uh, what I want to do is take, uh, okay, we got this layer. This is the main UI. And then we have our little LEDs up there. And so that is going to be the first thing we want to animate. So temporarily, I'm just going to take all this stuff and just push it out a little bit in this time, time lane right here. Uh, so I'll take everything else and push it out. Okay, so except for the LED parts, I'm going to bring those back. Okay. So the first thing we'll do, I want to, I think, yeah, I want to pre-compose these. So I'll go to layer with all of them selected, of course, pre-compose, um, main UI, and hit OK. All right, so now what I want to do is figure out, you know, how I want this to kind of form, you know, because it's going to start basically at nothing and then just kind of just build out. So there are a few different types of effects that we can apply to the layer that we can animate that will distort, or not distort rather, but you know, just kind of bring it into view in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so I had to pause it just so I can get a step ahead and figure out, you know, how exactly I want to do that. So uh, what we'll do is in the effects and presets, initially there was a glow there before I paused it, just type in linear and that will give us the linear wipe. So animation presets, this is already animated, but we want the one that's not animated yet. So just take the linear wipe right here and just place it onto this thing. Okay, so exactly what does this do? All right, so if we take the transition complete, right now it's at zero, and we pull it to the right, we can see that it animates this thing in some way. So what we'll do is we'll start it out at, you know, around anywhere where we can't see it. So I have an 84%. And so what we want to do is click on this little icon right there. And that creates a keyframe. So if we look down here in our timeline, you hit U. U will automatically show only what has been keyframed down here. And you see this little thing. That's that's your keyframe. All right, so if we move this forward, right around, well, you know what? Yeah, let me go ahead and take all these and move them further. All right, so if we move it, yeah, so we'll just try right around here. Put another keyframe, change this to zero, Oh, well, there it is. So it now animates in. If you hit zero, you know what? I think this uh, timeline is wrong. So if you go to composition, composition settings, you can readjust. Yeah, this is actually, I think, one second. <laughs> Oops. Hit one right there. And now we have a lot more room to work with. Uh, so if you hit zero on your number pad, that will kind of just load it. And you get everything is kind of very quick here. So you just take everything, holding in control, and drag it out further you know, along with this flare. Oops. Yeah, we want to take these and 
there. I know our animation isn't going to be past 40 seconds or 25 or, or even 20, but we're just giving ourselves the room to work with. Same thing with this. Why isn't that allowing me to... I think it's because of the, uh, what's inside here. So we have to go back to composition settings and adjust it for that composition because we that's basically an, an entirely new composition. Sorry about this. I screwed up thinking that was the minutes or the whatever. <laughs> when I initially started the project, we did that incorrectly. So same thing with the dam flare. Double click on it. Composition settings. And one over there. All right. All right, so now we're ready to get started. Okay, so I'm gonna take all these layers down here and up here above that. And just move them a little bit forward, just so they're out of the way. All right, so now if we hit zero, you can see how fast this thing comes in. It's like really fast. So we can adjust that by pulling this second keyframe out a little bit, just like that. So I'm just hitting zero on the keyframe just to look at that and see how that works. All right, and you can also adjust how that animates by taking both of these right click keyframe assistant. You can easy ease in or out. So you can ease in, it changes, you know, what these look like, but it also changes the animation slightly. All right, so that's good, and we'll leave it at that. So now what else do we want to kind of animate? Well, how about these? Well, I think we'll take that a little bit after. How about the things that are down here? So what we'll do is find those. I think we'll just have to sub UI Nope, that's not those. Yeah, it's these ones down here, right there. Yeah, the thin bar. Okay, so we'll bring these in. We'll bring this in closer. So here's the animation stops right around there. Then we'll push this right around there. And I'll think about how I want to make these things animate in. And honestly, I'm just going to experiment um, and just kind of show you, you know, a process that you can use to experiment with getting things transitioned in. So just delete this. This brings up all of the available uh, effects. And so if you get an animation presets, you have all these different types of folders in here. So you have like transform, and then you have transitions movements and stuff uh, let's see here wipes so really you can uh, experiment by just taking like barn doors you know what is that it's probably retarded but let me just place it on there and you know what happens oh that works exactly how I wanted it to <laughs> so barn doors to so just make it a reveal right in that's awesome all right cool so hit zero it'll load that Cool. That worked out awesome. I got lucky because I didn't even experiment uh, with that. So cool. All right. So we got that animating in. Uh, let's go ahead and take our thin line. And uh, we created that in here as a shape layer, I think. Yeah. So let's bring that in. So, okay. And we could probably do that barn door thing as well. Let me see. So select at the beginning of the layer. And we'll put that on it. Now let's see what happens now. Oops, hitting zero on the number pad. Cool, okay. It's a little bit too slow. So if you hit U, get these keyframes and Bring them closer. Hit zero. 
And we could probably push this a little bit closer to the bottom here. Let me collapse that. If we hit U. All right, so hit U here. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so yours should look roughly like that. All right, and let's uh, go ahead and I think after that, We'll take the sub UI and work with that. So, yeah, put it right around there. And let's try the barn door thing on that one too, just for the heck of it. And I've decided just to leave it as is. It was too much of a pain in the butt. <laughs> so, yeah, it still looks cool. Um, now, what do I want to do? Okay, so. Then we have the glare things coming out, so let's do that. Where are those at? Flares. Okay, so we'll bring it over here. All right, so we don't want these all to come in, so we're going to have to edit the individual layers inside of flare. So what we'll do is... All right, so... What we'll do is, I'm trying to think about how I want this to animate first. Yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and do the uh, opacity basically. So if you hit control, or if you hit T rather, um, we'll put opacity on this, start it at zero, and then just move off a couple frames, 100. So now it goes from zero to 100. Maybe around here. Now take both of those and copy them, Control C. And right around here on this second layer, or, or shape layer four, which is the other one, uh, Control V. So now if we hit U on this, you see they're a little bit further start slightly after and I uh, could do the same thing here possibly we'll see what this animation looks like all right so now if we go to gamer UI so let's go ahead and just hit zero and let this load up It's way too slow. Um, so let me pull this in. Yeah, that's like way too slow. So let me go back in here to flare. You know, that happens sometimes. That is life. So let me go down and hit you, you. Wait, you. What the hell? One second. Why is it showing me everything? I thought, one second. Okay, so I can individually hit you. Apparently that works. Okay, so what we'll do is take all these, hold shift, move them together a lot closer, and then we can take these and move them in as well. All right, so now we'll go back, and hopefully this is the animation's a lot better, or faster rather. Here's actual speed. All right, that's, uh, yeah, let's say that's, that is so slow. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Yeah, it's just way too slow. Got to do this again. Sorry. <laughs> so ridiculous. Let me zoom up here. Oops, I double clicked, brought up the opacity. Break those damn things in closer. All right. And take this and just pull them all in. Okay. Gamer UI. There you go. Please be better. It should be. Just hit zero on the number pad. All right. That's better. Cool. All right. So uh, let's continue on. 
we have this flare thing, so we can control D and duplicate that. And we want to flip it. Actually, we don't need to because it's uniform, I think. So put it right around there. Cool. And we have the thing inside. I think that's this layer right here. And that kind of sort of needs to come in. Okay, so we'll have that come in before the flares come in. And so let's see here. And we'll just keep consistent with the animation type. And it's going to need to be quicker though, so we'll hit U. Close that in right around there. There. Hit zero. Well, that's so fast, I don't even think I saw it. All right, well, whatever. I think that's good. All right, so... Actually, that's kind of messed up. What is that over there? What is that? Oh, man. You hide that. No, that is a part of that layer, so that's an issue. Let me find, turn that back on. Yeah, I'm very interested in knowing what the hell that is. Well, you know what I'll do? I think I'm just gonna remove that. Oh, there's a lot here. Jesus. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is this thing? I'm going to have to uh, back up here. Yeah, okay. Well, that was irritating. Uh, I had to delete all those effects. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and get linear. I think I'm just going to do a linear wipe. Because I don't know what that was, those white things were showing up. So let me go ahead and put that there. We will go to transition complete. Make that 100 initially. Create a keyframe. And then go to zero. All right, so I'll hit zero on the number pad. All right, and then I, uh, all right, so we're almost done with this, and we're going to make this, it's really going to come together well at the end here. So I've got this, 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 that, uh, and then we have the text. Start it like right here, and there's a preset called typewriter, and it's an animation preset, so it's already like created for us, the animation. Drag it on top. There we go. All right, so if we hit zero on the number pad. Kind of get this thing working. Might want it to be faster, so just hit U. Drag that in, maybe around here. And also the uh, background keeps on you know, where's that at? This needs to go all the way. All right. Hitting zero again to preview this. Cool. All right. So now what we want to do is take all of our layers. We, we forgot that glow in the back. Let me do that real quick. So let's find that. Uh, the glow, glow, glow. Uh, yeah, we'll just put this at the bottom here. Basically, make sure nothing's selected, and we will go to Ellipse Tool, Control and Shift, and I will put this, let's drag this to the back, 
or to the bottom rather. Get down there. All right, just above cloud. We'll take the fill and yeah, we want radial, so we'll change it to radial here. And adjust this, get rid of those, just drag them off. This is gonna be like a, a blue color. And this is going to be zero. All right, so we can't see it because we have to pull this up. Actually, we want it to be in. And then take this, hold shift, and then scale that up. All right, so if I go to 100%, yeah. All right, so there's this layer right there. All right, cool. So what we can do is also animate this as well. So we don't want this to come in, uh, I'd say, until right around here. Yeah, and then we can just apply, uh, apply the scale to this. So hit S and yeah, we'll put it like right around there, a keyframe. Come back over here and make the scale zero. Okay, cool. All right, so save that, control S. My hard drive's being slow. All right, okay, so now what we wanna do is take all of our layers and yeah, with exception, uh, with exception to the cloud layer right there. So you have them all selected. Go to layer, pre-compose. It's at the bottom there. I'll just call it everything. Blech. There we go. Hit OK. And also hit F4 here. This switches back and forth. Like you can sp specify blend mode if you wanted to. So if you hit F4, we want to select this. So because otherwise, if you take this and scale it down and hold Shift, sometimes you'll have... I don't think it's a problem in our case, though. But if you just do this, it lets... Anything that's outside of this pre-composition, and it'll allow it to extend outside. So if you had that glow real big, it would get cut off otherwise if you didn't have this option selected. All right, so what we want to do is basically take, yeah, uh, hit S for scale. Right now we have it at 76%, so we will basically turn on a keyframe there. And right around maybe five seconds or just before, take this to 100. We could turn on, yeah, if we go here to, uh, let me see here, everything. We turn on motion blur for all the layers. And come over here, turn them on as well. I think that will still work, hopefully. And then turn it on up here as well. Yeah. And then hit zero on your number pad. And it's being slow. It's like the more complex your scene gets, the uh, longer the render time is. I should probably just pause this until it's done, so I will do that. All right, so let's see here. Are you serious? <laughs> it was already rendered, but uh, it's going a lot faster now, though. All right, so this is it. All right, and for some reason this isn't coming in, so let me find that. That's on everything, I think. Yeah, where'd it go? Let's go to 100%. Uh, that was a shape layer. Hopefully I didn't get rid of it. Oh, there it is. Let me hit you. Yeah, 
what is going on with this thing? It might be because of the weird, uh, what do you call, these invert alpha things. Maybe there's, it's just making it sh hide. So I need to get rid of all of these. And we will animate that with a linear wipe. Okay, so now it should be there. Okay, and just take linear wipe on one of the other layers. I think this one right here. Where is that at? That's right there. If hit U, let me just find those real quick and copy them. And come down here to the shape layer. Which one is it? There. Okay. And then paste that in. Hit U so we could see it. Maybe extend it just a tad bit. And all right, that's good. All right, also, we forgot about these things up here. So let me find those. I'm just looking for, oh yeah, that's over here. Okay, so let's go back here to the beginning. I think right around here is where we can have these things kind of come in. So the Light is on the top. Let's go to 100%. All right, so we'll do a linear wipe on those basically. So uh, it's still, we have that copied still. So all we have to do is just paste this in. All right, so hit U. There you go. All right, so let me save that. I'm going to go to 100%. I'm going to try to get as much of this in view as possible. So if we hit zero, it's going to quickly get this ready to go. And then there here are these things coming in. All right, this is the actual Cool. I like it. All right, so now what we need, we need some sound because it's just kind of boring in and of itself. All right, so I haven't even <laughs> looked into sound and what I'm going to do for that. Uh, there are various sites that you can use that have kind of like cool interface twitchy sort of yeah, sound files that you can purchase. And some might even be for free if you look around hard enough. So I'm going to try to find one real quick. I'm going to pause this. All right, so there's a site. Uh, usually I would use something like uh, audiojungle.com or .net. I forget which one it is. Let me see, Audio Jungle. Yeah, I'd usually use this. These are paid ones, though. Um, but they have a ton to choose from, and they're cheap. But uh, just so everyone can kind of follow along, there's one called freesound.org, and you just search for all different types of things. So I found this swoosh type thing I think would work well for one sound. And we can start to layer these things. Um, and also, I'm not sure if you probably heard that too well, but uh, I'll link these in the description of the YouTube video. So what I'm going to do is go back to After Effects and get back everything over here. All right, where is it? Project and import. I already saved that file. You have to create an account real quick. It's free on the Freesound website and then just download it and then put it in your assets folder. So import file right there, drag it on and let's see how this sounds when it's coming together. And you may have to adjust it a little bit but we'll see. And it'd probably be worth maybe trying to find some other ones that you could add on top of like some type of like interface elements. So you have all these options down here in which we can just play and and basically just experiment.
I mean, there's a ton of them, obviously. So, what is this? I mean, it's... <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can hear this either. I believe I have this set to record. Um, yeah, the window sound, but if not, oh well. You get the idea. Uh, so, I'm just going to pause and find a few more of these um, that I can use. So, I also found this one. And uh, let me go back and oops, import that. Which one was that? 188. Okay, so it's this one. And we'll just see what this sounds like. <laughs> All right, let me And I'm just moving this around seeing if it makes sense anywhere And you know really it's a matter of just uh trying to play around with this to get, you know, what's happening in the animation to match up with the sound. So So when these things come out to the side, these right here, it seems like they should match up with the part in that initial audio that I had where you can hear like something banging. So let me uh Okay, so let me just try this for now. That looks a little bit, it sounds a little bit better. Yeah, let me just. All right, so you get the idea. Basically, you know, you can find these sounds and you can add however many of them you wish to try to get them all to match up with what's happening. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm going to consider this completed. Um, so hopefully you learned a lot about, you know, just using uh, Photoshop to really create something that's cool that you can take into After Effects and animate. All right, so uh, if you enjoyed the tutorial, uh, subscribe here on YouTube and check out designcourse.com and see what we have going there, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, goodbye. <laughs>